Hey, what's up? It's John, aka Operation iDroid, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the Alt Store on your Windows or Mac computer. For those of you that don't know what the Alt Store is, it's an amazing application created alongside Delta by the same developer, Riley Testa. And the purpose of the Alt Store is so that your Delta application and many of your other favorite emulators and applications never get revoked on your iOS device. It's awesome. And I cannot wait to show you how to use this. So without wasting any more time, let's begin with the tutorial. All right, so before we start doing anything on our computers, there are a few requirements that you need to meet before starting. The first ones are if you're on a Mac computer, you need to be running operating system 10.14.4 or higher, as well as if you're on Windows, then you need to be on Windows 10 or higher. If you are on Windows, you need to have iTunes, but not the iTunes installed from the Microsoft Store. Uninstall that one if you have it. Install iTunes from the Apple website because that one seems to work better with Windows and the Alt Store. As well as your iOS device has to be running iOS 12.2 and up or else the Alt Store and Delta will not work on your iOS device. And finally, you'll need internet because we're going to be downloading stuff and to turn on the Alt Store's wireless syncing, you'll need internet. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is connect your iOS device to your computer with its charging cable and if you've never done this before on your iPhone you'll get a pop-up that says trust this computer go ahead and click on trust then enter your passcode if you have one and then select continue in iTunes on your computer once you've done that your iOS device will load up into iTunes and you can click on its icon at the top left you need to make sure that your iOS device appears in iTunes whether you're on Mac or Windows for this process to work this is very crucial so once you have your iOS device connected in iTunes, the next thing you want to do is open your favorite web browser and type in the URL altstore.io, which will take you to the Alt Store's website where you can download the Windows or Mac version of the Alt Store or Alt Server for your computer. If you're on Mac, you'll get an altserver.dmg file, and if you're on Windows, you'll get an alt installer zip file. So starting with Windows, you want to extract this file by right-clicking it and clicking Extract All. Make sure the little checkbox is checked there and then hit Extract, which will open up a page like this that'll have a setup file inside of it. Go ahead and click that setup file and then go through the install wizard. If you're on Mac, what you want to do is right-click on the altserver.dmg file, hold down the Option key and click on Open. This will give you a pop-up like so and go ahead and click on Open and the altserver.dmg G file will begin to open. Once it's open, you'll get a pop-up like this where you can drag and drop the alt server application into your applications folder. From here, you can open your applications and look for the alt server icon. Go ahead and open it and it'll give you a pop-up the first time you open it and all you have to do is click on open and it won't open up a window. The alt server actually runs in the toolbar as you can see here. Now on Windows, it's a little different. What you want to do is go to the bottom left of your Windows computer and search for Alt Server. Click open and then the Alt Server will actually be at the bottom right on this little arrow. You'll see this little diamond, which is the Alt Server. And for Mac and Windows, it's the same process. You want to go ahead and click on install Alt Store and you'll see your iOS device. If your iOS device does not appear here, then it means it's not connected to your computer. So open up iTunes and make sure that you see your iOS device in iTunes like I showed you earlier. And if you do, then quit the alt server or close it and then open it again. And then hopefully your iOS device will appear. If not, check out the FAQ I have linked in the description below. So from here, just click on your iOS device and you'll get a pop-up to insert your Apple ID and password. Don't worry, this is completely safe. Nobody's going to see or steal your Apple ID or password. And if you have two-factor verification, you'll get this installation failed pop-up that says an app-specific password is required. You can create one at appleid.apple.com. So open up your favorite web browser and go to appleid.apple.com. And from here, you wanna sign into your Apple ID and then type in your password. And then it'll ask you for the two-factor code that it sent to one of your other iOS devices. Go ahead and type that in here. And once you have that code all typed in, it'll load the page up to your Apple ID. And under the account, you'll see security. 
and then click on generate password. Here you can type in whatever you want. I'm gonna type in alt store. And then once you've done that, go ahead and click create and it'll give you a ton of letters and numbers, which is your app specific password. So go ahead and select that and copy it. And now we can go back to the alt server, insert our Apple ID again and put in our password. Now this is only for if you got that error asking for an app specific password. So the alt store will now install on your iOS device and keep that app specific password somewhere in your notes because we're gonna need it again later. So let's jump into our phone where you'll now see the alt store is installed on your iOS device, but when you try to open it, it'll say it's an untrusted developer. So what you wanna do is head to your settings, scroll down to general, scroll down to device management or profiles and device management, find your Apple ID and trust it. Once you've done that, you can now go home and open the alt store. Now from here, you wanna click on allow notifications from the alt store because this is gonna help you know when the alt store is running. Now you wanna head over to your settings and sign in with your Apple ID and then put in the same password that you used when you installed the alt store on your computer. So if you used an app specific password, use that same app specific password here and then click sign in. Now that you're signed into the alt store, it'll give you a list of instructions. Number one says launch the alt server. And number two says connect to Wi-Fi by enabling iTunes Wi-Fi sync. And the reason that you wanna do this is so that you can install applications through the alt store without having to connect your phone to the computer so that if the alt server is running on your computer and your phone is on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer, you'll be able to refresh applications and install new applications without having to connect your phone. So heading back into our computers, go to the alt server and make sure that launch at login or automatically start at startup is ticked on. Now going into iTunes, if you click on your iOS device and scroll down to options, you'll see iTunes Wi-Fi sync. So go ahead and check that off if you're on Mac or Windows. And if you're on Mac Catalina, which is a beta version right now, you'll find this option in Finder. Now that we've done that, if we head back into the alt store and go to the My App section, I'm gonna quickly explain to you how the alt store works so that your applications never get revoked. So basically the alt store is installing these applications onto your iOS device for seven days. After seven days, these applications will expire, AKA be revoked, and they will stop working. But if you're running the alt server and you have the alt store refreshing in the background looking for your computer, it'll automatically re-sign these applications before the seven days are up so that they never get revoked. You can always check on the status of your applications by going to the My Apps tab and seeing how many days are left until they expire. And you can hit the refresh all button to refresh your applications. If you turned on iTunes Wi-Fi sync and you're on the same network as your computer, you could do this without connecting your phone into the computer. However, you can also connect your phone into the computer and hit refresh all while the alt server is running so that your apps refresh and they do not expire in seven days. So keep that in mind so that your applications never get revoked. If you turned on iTunes Wi-Fi sync and your computer is normally on with the alt server running, then your applications will always be refreshing so you'll be fine and you don't have to worry about a revoke. By clicking on the browse tab, you'll see Delta and Delta Lite. Now you can install the applications by clicking the free button and it'll begin to install. If you get an error at any point while trying to install the application, then make sure that on your computer you see your iOS device in iTunes. If your iOS device is not in iTunes, then that means that the alt server will not work. So make sure that either your phone is connected to the computer or iTunes Wi-Fi sync is on and you're on the same network as your computer running the alt server so that it can connect. I'll also have an FAQ linked in the description below that you can check that'll most likely help you solve the issue with the cannot connect to alt store. Now that you have Delta installed through the alt store, you never have to worry about revokes again. However, if you wanna install other emulators and applications that will never be revoked through the alt store, you'll have to be a Patreon of Riley Testa, the creator of the alt store. By going to the settings and clicking Patreon, you can actually see his Patreon and see if you pay $3 a month for the Patreon tier, you'll be able to get the Alt Store beta and the Nintendo DS beta of Delta. So I highly recommend that you sign up for the Patreon so that you can get the Alt Store beta, which will allow you to install any emulator or application into your iOS device and it'll never be revoked. 
Once you're a Patreon, you wanna head to the settings app of the Alt Store and then link your account. And once you've done that in the browse tab, you'll see the Alt Store beta appear. And from here, you can click on free so that you can download the Alt Store beta, which in this version will allow you to download any emulator or application as long as you have the IPA, which I'll be showing you how to download those IPAs now. But before we do that, you can also download the Delta beta now available through the Alt Store beta, but you first need to sign in with your Apple ID and the same password that you use to sign in to the Alt server on your computer. So if you used an app specific password, make sure you use that same app specific password again to sign in. And now from here, like I said, you can download the Delta beta that has Nintendo DS support, as well as you can install any emulator or application through the Alt Store as long as you have the IPA. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do that now. And to make sure that you have the right Delta, click on the settings at the top left. And if you see Nintendo DS under console supported, then you'll know that you have the Delta beta. From here, you can delete your old Delta as well as the old Alt Store if you don't want them anymore. And to install IPAs, we need to find them. So I have the IPAs available on my website, operationidroid.com forward slash app market. I'll have that linked in the description below. And I have IPAs available for INDS, PPSSPP, Provenance and RetroArch. And all you have to do is click on the icon of the application you wanna download, scroll down to IPA download and click on INDS IPA or whatever application it is, IPA, and go ahead and download that. Once the download is done, you wanna click on the top right if you're on iOS 13 or if you're on iOS 12, you wanna open it in your files application. From here, click on the file so that it extracts the IPA from it and then you can hit select at the top click on your file, select the share button at the bottom left, scroll down and hit copy to alt store. And then here it'll give you a pop-up about side loading. You can only side load 10 applications, 10 IPAs through the alt store or else it'll stop working. So make sure you choose wisely about what applications you want. You'll know that your IPA is installing because under the my app section, you'll see a green bar move from left to right. And when it's done, you'll have your application on your home screen. And as you can see, just like that, I've installed INDS through the Alt Store on my iOS device, as well as I've also installed PPSSPP, Provenance, and RetroArch that I all have available on my website at operationidroid.com forward slash app market. But this also works with applications. So if you find an IPA file online that you like, save it to your files, then open it in the Alt Store and it'll install on your iOS device. And there you go. Hopefully you're now super familiar with the Alt Store and know everything that you need to know in order to use it to the best of its capabilities. If you found this video helpful, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I really appreciate it. If you need help with anything regarding the Alt Store, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to help you so you can get the Alt Store on your iOS device. Finally, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video because I upload awesome tutorials like this one every week. Until then, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see some behind the scenes type of stuff and know what videos are coming up next. And until then, this is goodbye.